all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god hello everybody this is vscout 100 and welcome back to some more of my little investigations i am here with chris the master four here hello everybody in the last episode we have confronted apple bloom on things as well as uh come here and talk to other pretty cool looking ocs and uh hopefully the audio will actually be good and it, excuse me and in this episode mark <laughs> zuckerberg Oh my god. <laughs> and in this episode, uh, we're going to continue talking to Apple Bloom about things. Oh my god, that was perfect. I he oh, right, it's ambience <laughs> right now. I was like wondering where the background music was, I'm like, it's ambience now. Alright, Apple Bloom. Please Hello. Please tell me everything you know about what happened last Voices. night. Voices. Yes. Ah, uh, Kenya. Uh-oh. And why not? Because I can't. <sighs> Apple Bloom, I think I know why you're not talking. Oh? Scootaloo. How's this? You're trying to protect Scootaloo, aren't you? I haven't heard from her all day, and Rarity said some Darn. things about you three that seemed awfully suspicious. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you got it, why? Nope. Apple Bloom, listen to me. I know your heart is in the right place, but this isn't the right way to protect Scootaloo. There's an investigative team coming in from Canterlot to handle this case. It's very, very important that I have this case closed before they get here. Uh, you don't mean they investigation team. They <laughs> do ya? Yeah, sure that do. investigation team. Cause I got a southern drawl. Okay, I guess. I'm not trying to harp on the I voice actress, no but. No more hot. Promise. I, I wasn't being truthful, cause well, I was awful worried about Scootaloo. Yeah. See, last night we were rehearsing a comedy routine that we had planned to put on for Rarity's birthday, which is coming up pretty soon. We've been doing that for quite a while now. Rarity's a birthday? Oh, right. Yeah, so. Comedy, of course. Right. Uh, oh. Well, yeah. This will learn all cutie marks for sure. They tried that before. Uh, of course. <laughs> yeah, Rob, you don't know this, but in the episode where they were trying to, like, have a talent show for the cutie marks, the episode basically told us what they were getting, but they didn't, they pretty much did the opposite of what, like, they were, they were supposed to get, and it ended with them having this really, sub, uh, like, purposely bad performance, and, uh, at the end, there's like, oh my god, we can get our cutie marks in comedy, but it didn't work out too well. But you can't tell any pony about this, twice. This is super duper top secret. It won't so tell everybody. Surprise. Super duper top secret. So, uh, exactly so, uh, opposite. hey, everybody. <laughs> um, sure. Listen you to me and this me. little girl about really top secret. That's, wow. That sounds worse than that. that, <laughs> than my, that wow. <laughs> Cross my heart She's not impressed. Stick a cupcake in my eye. Uh, there yes. Um, yes. <laughs> well, alright then. She apparently doesn't know the concept of pinky promise. Anyway, we were not, practicing you in the town square last night, like always, the devil will come and things are going pretty well. Is that, is is that so? Uh, which time me and uh the, hung the out pinky by the devil will come and eat you. Ah. Is it when she goes loco? No, she literally goes insane and, like, it gets extremely pissed off, and then like her eyes turn all orange, like, and she has like di like a distorted voice. So it's literally the devil. Oh my but fucking god! I don't know where Scootaloo was at that time, or what she was up to. A short while after that, we heard a sudden loud crash coming from Carousel Boutique. Artwork. That was that's nice artwork, actually. Oh no, it is. We didn't know it what is. in tarnation was happening now, so we just watched for a bit to see what was going on. And then a little while after it, something went across the bridge real fast. No, it's like little but, uh, flightless bird. I'm pretty sure it was Scootaloo. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. That can't be right. 
afraid it is, Twy. I, I didn't know what was going on, but since it seemed like Scootaloo was in trouble, we all figured, well, better not say anything about it. Well, here's my take on it right now. Mm -hmm. He was, I don't know, riding on something. He swerved to... He, he did crash boy. the window. Huh? Scootaloo's a tomboy. She... Okay. Well, she crashed into the window, and she was so scared of getting caught that she ran away, but she didn't steal anything. That's that's my take on it. I'm awful sorry. I lied to you, Twa. It's fine. Really. You did the right thing in telling me all this. This has been a big help. Scootaloo's not a thief, Twa. You gotta believe me. Twa. You gotta help her. Promise. I promise on my honor as an investigator that I will clear Scootaloo's and name and get to the bottom of this. Because you're not an actual investigator. Is <laughs> that something that's valuable? Well, we are. <laughs> valuable. Let's just say <laughs> that, yes, I promise. Now we have our testimony. Awesome. And now we know where Scootaloo was. So she was at the scene of the crime as... At the time it was carried out yesterday, seems as she stayed on the scene for a little while before leaving. Mm. Now I know that Verity's hiding something from me. I'd now, better pay her another visit. Good. I was gonna say, we should probably go visit her now. Subtle, uh, subtle hinting there. Well, it's the first case. It's the only case. So far. But usually the first case goes a lot into, like, helping the player out before they figure out everything on their own. Right. All right. Let's talk to him. Can we, do we have to talk to Rout? Is that evidence, I think? You know, we were practicing in the town square on the dollars, and things were going pretty well. We took a break during which time she fell and her hung out by the bridge. I don't know what Scooby was at the time, or what she was up to. Rarity, I think we should start with what happened last night. Uh, Once darling, again. What would you like? Could you? Well, I went downstairs. <laughs> hmm. And that was everything there is to speak of? You saw nothing else at all? No. That's... What? What do I do? Do I just present? Yeah. Something? Yeah. Rarity. Telling me the whole truth here. Why, darling, whatever do you mean? I dare say I resent your accusation, my dear. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> Let's look at this a different way. How quickly did you come downstairs after you thought something was wrong? Immediately, of course, but I don't see what relevance that has to anything. Uh, you, you will see. I don't yeah, while Scooby stayed on the scene. But neither does Rarity. Maybe I can get her to talk. If I make it seem like I know more than I really do. That's what Phoenix does. <laughs> Rarity, I spoke to Appleboom earlier and learned that she witnessed Scootaloo crashing through your window last night. What, like the symbol that just crashed earlier? <laughs> I also learned that Scootaloo stayed for roughly a minute before leaving the boutique. Now, if you came downstairs immediately after hearing the crash, you would have don't seen you her. think you might have seen something? Ah! I mean, that is... Uh, I suppose you do have a point. There you go. Celestia, it worked. <laughs> Thanks, Celestia. Yeah. It worked. It was Celestia the entire time. Well, isn't it? <laughs> you are correct, Twilight. I did see Scootaloo last night. I did not know what to make of it, and then to protect her. I do apologize for not being forthright about it. It's always protection. I understand, Rarity. But if that investigation team from Canterlot comes here and finds any of that out, what do you think their conclusion is going to be? You do have a point, I must say. As you have said, I think, three times so far now. Uh, yeah, probably. Added to interrogations. Right, time to get to the bottom of this. I wonder if, like, later on when they do more cases, if you'll have to do multiple interrogations. That'd be what, like, like crisscross within each other? Maybe. No. All right, Rarity. Please tell me everything you know about what you saw last night. I 
I can't help if I don't have all the details. All right. Here we go. Let, let's put let's put our lawyerly minds to the of task. Of course, Twilight. I shall do my best. I finished my work for yesterday earlier than expected, so I had wanted to get my beauty sleep. I have been somewhat deprived, given that a certain client had made several last-minute orders. What client? Just a minute. Which certain client was this? Out of curiosity. Who else but Sapphire Shores? She gives me such good business. But I don't want to gossip, of course, but my goodness, does that man love Jules Twilight? Although, <laughs> I suppose her request Shores. was what got me searching for gems. Which was what caused me to find mm. Trouble in the first place. It wasn't so like bad, all things told. Sapphire likes jewels, huh? Sapphire Shores is a fashion designer. Uh, and she's, and like I said, she's like, I think she's voiced by a black woman because she has a big booming voice and there's just all, no, of, the, all of the, all of the, not sass, but like all of the freaking like celebrity stuff. That's not what I'm getting at. Think of what was, what was stolen. True, but was the diamond dogs that did it. We yeah, did it. but they could have been hired by somebody. As I get true blue back, that is. <laughs> Hint, hint. She probably just doesn't want to pay for it. So she got <coughs> right, the, so the diamond dogs to steal it for her. Just gone to sleep? Mm. I had finally fallen into a blissful, restful sleep when, all of a sudden, I awoke to the sound of a loud crash coming from the first floor. Mm, if it was blissful and restful, she wouldn't have heard anything. I don't think that, 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 that a window that makes when it gets broken. A, you know? Honestly, Twilight, sure? I dare say I yeah. needn't spell this one out mm. for you. Knowing the Phoenix Wright games or the Phoenix Well, Wright think, we'll think, of, think back to Big Top Turnabout. Still, like, in the er, that's the third case. In the, in the first case of the first of, like, in a series, usually they make it easy on the player. Or it's relatively easy on the player. Alright. What did you do when you heard this crash? Well, I was just scared out of my wits at that moment, so I made at great haste downstairs moment. to see what in Celestia's name was going on. Mm. All right. Just a minute. If there were potentially dangerous thieves in your home, why would you have gone downstairs so quickly? What? I. Now she was worried about the jewel. I did not even consider the possibility that I might have been in danger. Well, she's a unicorn. Now that you mention she it. probably do. Some kind of magic and stuff. Yeah. But really, Twilight, that's rather beside the point, is it not? What I found there was oh, terrible, horrible! The first floor of my boutique ransacked, ruined, torn apart! Oh, what is a man to do? Get a better microphone? <laughs> wow, you seem pretty upset. I'm sorry. Of course I'm upset! All that time put into organization and sorting and everything like that. Ruined! Just ruined! Now I'm going to have to put all that work into sorting the first floor all over again! That's what has her upset? I know I can be a bit obsessive about organization, but sheesh! What was her sorting system? Uh... Just think about it. If somebody knew what the sorting system was they would have been able to find the true blue easily but they didn't or what they don't had it out, right? i don't know i don't remember Orange and purple, purple pony. Was it? Hmm. Rarity, what you said contradicts this bit of evidence. It did not. No, it doesn't. <laughs> um, no. I don't believe it does, Twilight. <laughs> I'll just press on it then. Oh. <coughs> uh, <laughs> Luckily, there's no penalty system. Just a minute. Rarity, this is incredibly important. 
please tell me exactly what it was you saw here? Was oh. wasn't Scootaloo. She knows who Scootaloo is, by the way. So. Well, I okay. I'm afraid that it well, all arrived so fast. They siblings? I didn't get a very good look. What? I had to turn on the light before I could see anything at all. And by that time, it had very nearly left. Scootaloo has no parents, so okay. It's Sweetie Belle's sisters with Rarity. All I can say is that it was definitely something moving. And that I clearly saw the colors orange and purple. But Are there any other I, orange and purple ponies? I didn't see that at all? All I saw was her backside. Perhaps the cape had gotten wrapped around her front when she crashed through the window. Ah, uh, nope. Okay, what was the I kitty mark? The they don't have any oh, oh no, they don't. Blue, then who would it describe? Sorry, I'm like really in the dark here. Pony who fits that description? Uh, think, Twilight, think. Orange and purple. And if that was Scootaloo that I saw, then, well, I. Was it maybe I one of the OCs? What I saw any other way than to say that a Scootaloo purposely broke into my boutique to steal True Blue? Or what other explanation could there be? Wait. Mm. Orange and purple. Mm. Wait. Purposely broke into my boutique. Didn't didn't we figure out that that was an accident? Oh. Yes. We did. Wait a second. Rarity. I know that this is going to sound entirely irrelevant, but I think I have a lead on what might have happened to Opalescence. See, this At is why I need you here, because sometimes true. I stuff. <laughs> oh, do tell, darling! Although I do admit that I must agree, in that I can't see how this is relevant to what we're discussing here. I found some white hair right near the tracks outside the window, and judging from their length and color, I don't think there's anyone else they could have come from other than Opalescence. As a result, I think we can reasonably conclude that if those tire marks are from Scootaloo, then it's entirely likely that she crashed through your window completely by accident, not purposefully. Scootaloo drives a scooter. <laughs> she was probably trying to avoid crashing into Opal, which may well have spooked Opal into running away. Really? But then... That makes things all the more peculiar, because it is still the fact that she must have stolen True Blue, no? No. She has no motive to steal it. Let me ask a very important question before answering that. Why would she do it? Is there any other way around? Did you lock the door? Do you think Opal might have stolen it? <laughs> what? The mm. cat is the true culprit! Opal herself stole the True Blue, and then ran away with it. Twilight, I must ask that you concentrate. You have a better comedy routine while you're at it. <sighs> now I know why Apple Bloom and the others were practicing. Uh, Anyways! That wasn't okay, a question? But seriously, I have a very important... Is there another way in and out of the boutique? Is there by any chance another way in or out of the boutique? Any way that some thief might have left other than the front door? Um, no. I'm afraid not. The front door is the only way some pony could leave. And since I already saw Scootaloo using the front door, I'm not sure where you're going with this. The window? I think I'm on the wrong track here. No, no, you're right. I, think. I right. guess it's the second but question. Let me ask another... Oh, so it's... Did you lock your door? Do you, by any chance, keep your door locked when you go to sleep at night? Huh. So, mm -hmm. well, yes. Scootaloo That's unlocked the door. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. Providing easy access in and out. One follow-up question then. Do you also bring an opal from outside when you go to bed? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm on the wrong track. Oh dear, I couldn't leave her to bed for herself at night. <laughs> then I think we've established something even more important than the accidental break-in. 
Twilight, I must ask that you be more direct, as I am not following one word you're saying. Not the only one. All right. Let's think about the facts of the case thus far. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Before we... Well, how long have we been going for? We have been going for about 20 minutes. All right. Well, so we can do a little bit more. Yeah, let's finish this up because I, I kind of want to recap. We know that you heard a crash and came downstairs to see Scootaloo quickly leaving your boutique. Okay. We can reasonably conclude that she probably was responsible for the broken window. Okay. However, we also know that the broken window was likely an accident and that she had veered off course with her scooter because she was avoiding Opal, mm -hmm. who was immediately in front of her path. Hmm. You just told me, though, that you bring in Opal and left Oh! The so it wasn't Opal. It was something else. Yeah, I was about to say, because, like, didn't... Because, like, we know... We've concluded that Opal was ran... Like, was in the Was brought room. inside. But she wasn't brought inside that time. Mm. Name Why was Opal... What was Opal doing outside yeah. in the first place? Yeah. But she would have gotten out when Scootaloo opened the door, would she not? Yeah, but... Scootaloo only opened the door after she was swerved to, uh... Blasted in through the window. Yeah. That's not possible. Think about it. When was it that she veered to avoid Opal? Right before she crashed through the window. Exactly. I trust you're beginning to see my point. If indeed your door had been locked and had remained that way until Scootaloo left... There would have been no way Opal would have been outside in the first place. Mm -hmm. But that would mean that some pony else was in my boutique as well? Mm-hmm. Exactly. I think don't, we can reasonably don't seem conclude so proud about that. Least, <laughs> that there at least is the possibility that someone else had entered your boutique before Scootalin. Yep, because it's always it's always theory. Exactly. A game theory. And that the <laughs> Thanks for watching. So that Opal could get out. The question now, though, is who, who that would be. And that's just what I'm going to find out. Let's see. Okay. Who, do we, who do we have so far? Hang on. Could not have been a culprit someone else had entered before her. Well, <clears throat> good luck with that. Huh. Mm. Are you still doubting me after all this, Faraday? Well, it's just hard to see you as a detective. Uh... After the events of the <laughs> of the mystery of the Friendship Express, you now continue to doubt her. Tell me, who was right about Nightmare Moon? <laughs> you, darling. Yeah. But... And who solved the mystery of the? Mm? That's what I was talking about. You again, but I really. And who recognized that Princess Cadence had been replaced by a fake? <laughs> Once again, you. But, you see... So... <clears throat> why does no pony ever listen to me? Jeez. Well, I suppose it's that, eventually, you must be due for getting something wrong. So what? Wouldn't you agree? Oh, the squeeze, apparently making that much more plausible. <sighs> I could explain the many reasons that argument doesn't hold any water, but by the time I even got to Bray's theorem... <laughs> The Canterlot investigative team would have gotten here and convicted Fluttershy of something like running an illegal bear fighting club. <laughs> <laughs> Probably best to drop the subject now, while I have the chance. Yeah. Uh, sure. That, uh, makes sense, I guess. Anyways, I'd best be off. More investigating and such like. Thanks mm -hmm. for the help, Rarity. Anytime, my dear. Where do I go from here, though? It feels like I've talked to just about every pony. Other than Aren't they using Zelda us? music? Huh? They're using Zelda music. Listen. It's similar. I, I know what you're talking about. It's similar Zelda music. Wait. But it's that's Wind Waker. Scootle, yeah, but there's that's also it. A... I haven't talked to all the cutie mark crusaders yet. And if Apple Bloom is involved, then the others probably are as well. But the thing is, they also have, like, this... Like, this music is also similar to, like, uh, there's this, this, there's this, like, first person, like, choose your own adventure game called Welcome to Ponyville that uses this same kind of music. 
So, I mean, it could either be from Zelda or from this, and they could have taken each inspiration Now, from if each I other. recall correctly... And my bad, that was, it's, um... It's either Wind Waker or it's... Or it's Twilight Princess. <clears throat> I know exactly what you're talking about, though. Yeah. It's in the Sweet Apple Acres, though, isn't it? Yeah. The clubhouse is in the Sweet Apple Acres. Well, let, let's take a look at the profiles that we have so far. Let's see. Twilight, story? obviously no. Obviously not. <laughs> no. I doubt but, she would. Because yeah. she, cause she saw Scootaloo come out, so she yeah. wouldn't have been in there. Couldn't have been Scootaloo because we're trying to prove her innocence. Sweetie Belle... Well, maybe, because uh, isn't... I, I don't think that she has the mental capacity to pull up a heist like that. Especially no, since no, no, no. she's sisters with Rarity. No, not a heist, but she could have been in there. They are siblings, after all. But they both saw the same thing. Hmm. The mayor? Obviously she's always suspicious. <laughs> and then Opal. Opal did it. That's what I'm trying to say. Opal did it. Alright. Uh, let's end this off here. Yes. Yes, this has been a uh, long outro. Next time on Let's Play My Little Investigations, we are going to hopefully um, go to the Seattle Blakers and talk to Sweetie Belle and maybe the other crew. I wonder what, maybe you can talk to Scooby Doo as well. Indeed. So, I will see you guys later. <laughs>